That's it. Okay, so um, my name's Paul from South Church Jewelers. I'm going to do a demonstration on sizing this 18 karat gold signet ring. I'm sizing up to S, and if you look, you see the gap on the shank there. I'm going to add, using the laser, a piece of 18 karat into that. The next stage is after preparing the piece of 18 karat to go into the ring, is I'm going to add an angle, a chamfered angle. Okay, and again the other side, and then I grab the, the piece out I'm adding, the 18 karat piece I'm adding, and do the same thing, repeat the process. And the idea of this angle is to offer the, the piece up to the ring and leave a ridge, and that ridge is the ridge that I'm going to infill. So in preparation I've, um, I've, I've milled up some 18 karat gold, um, I don't often use laser wire, I use the gold that I have, uh, I mill it and then I tin snip it into strips and it's these strips that I use to infill the, the ring. I've got a spot of 0, 0 0.2 and time is 1.4, frequency 2.5. Okay so uh, I'm, I'm going to tack this up now with um, one or two tacks. I'm really not concerned on how it looks at this stage, I'm, all I'm doing is just positioning it. So I'm tacking it so I can, I can work on it, a bit like that. So I'm going to increase the power fraction. I'm then going to hit the 18 karat gold sideways onto it. And as you can see, it immediately infills. If I need to increase power, I can do that at any time. Um, I can increase the frequency to speed up the job as well if necessary. With technique you become proficient, you, um, the job speeds up. But what's really important is that you get a guaranteed finish um, and there's less finishing time involved. So where you might lose at this stage in time, you, you, you gain that back. So my next attack with the other side, I'll reduce the power back down again. Okay, so I'm, I'm now adding material again on the other side. You have to be careful not to overpower because you can end up just blasting a hole through it. So you've got to get your, you've got to get, you've got to get a feel for the settings. So a little wiggle and then mushing, a wiggle and a mush. Turn it over. You see how close that hallmark is there. Beauty of the lasers, and I can. I've got no no issues with that whatsoever. It's not going to go anywhere near it. I have complete control. I think that's the important thing is to have control. I mean, it looks like a lot of material I'm adding, but it's not really. It's just it's under a microscope, so it just looks a lot. In fact, when you make a hole sometimes, the hole looks huge. And you think, oh my God, and then you take it out and you realize it's actually quite small. So my next job is to very lightly find the, the top thickest part of the section I've added in and just work it back to the shank. And then again on the side, use the weight of the file because this is a really thin ring. And I, I just offer that in. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to get an exact finish at this stage. I'm, I'm just making sure that that I don't need to do any more lasering. If there's any little bits that I've missed, I can just visit, revisit the laser and resolve it in an issue, in a second, I should say. <laughs> and it needs to be size S. And as you can see, that's perfectly on S. With this ring I'm, I'm trying to work a piece into a thin shank. 